whatever channel this is going to be for, this is going to be a uh, clip about basically why I use communication as an outlet rather than creativity itself. If this is obvious on our crossword, then you already know what I mean. Hopefully some of you may already have been familiar with what I meant about the creativity being a toxic relationship and the communication being a forced outlet, I guess you could say. Because I was never clear concise for things I kept saying over and over again like that. And I never was someone who actually used creativity the way I could have because of the problems I have people couldn't understand. And it was, uh, the way that it's gone about is that I would always be the kind of person who didn't believe in creativity in a philosophical lens for some reason. Even that's creative, even being a philosopher is a creative thing, but that was breaking its own platform, uh, to say at least. And then communication was something I didn't even use right to begin with, but it was like, I was one of those people that Jordan Peterson would describe as having a style without a format, and that's like a, you know, that's it's like it's like basically having seeing seeing it as a personality rather than a function, without each other or, or without a connection to either or. But it's like a, that's how it comes across. I don't hate being a creative. I just didn't organize it the way I should have. I didn't really, I paradoxically did not realize creativity the way I was supposed to do it the first time. When I was imagining envisioning being a cartoonist or a claymation animator, I wasn't someone who already knew rapid bad. Oh, just, just do, I'm gonna do this because it's fun. I I, th- I want to do this. Let's do this. I I, I want to achieve this goal. Let's go for it. I'm gonna make this easy and simple or whatever else. That was not my ideal creativity. My ideal creativity doesn't even connect to the social idea of drawing hands on paper for the rest of my life indefinitely, for because it's fun. I'm not someone who's neither avoiding the normalcy of life or the ambition of life. I'm not someone who avoid because I'm I, I let's put it this way, I both simultaneously want to be just like everyone else, in spite of simultaneously paradoxically also wanting to be better than everyone else. And there's actually a big dilemma with that all by itself. But the thing with communication and creativity was that I didn't communicate that any better for people. I wasn't willing to change those those um ways of doing things, not limit to my speech patterns. For anyone else, because I was afraid of losing something, a part of myself, my personality and soul and spirit, that I did not want to give up, even if it was a sunk cost fallacy. It wasn't supposed to be like that, but it was like having to think of it as being like evolving to something that either was my net benefit or could have already been for else's benefit at least. But I usually believed in at least helping other people other than myself because I, if I couldn't help myself, I must help other people. But that was also out of, out of some selfish desires, but not only selfish desires. I'm not only a selfish person. I'm actually more humble than I even realized on myself because I never got to see that part of myself before until people and people sure reassured me. Good, very good loving people. But So you'll see this with my communication and my creativity. I'll be someone who doesn't see that part of the world differently anymore than I already see the world differently, if that makes sense. And so with the, crea- the creative end of things, I never got to understand what creativity even was, whether it was simple or hard or easy, easy or complicated. And knowing that any differently than someone who would just go for creativity just because it was an outlet to express themselves versus someone like me who uses creativity as a crutch to explain why life is uh, diabolically unique on my own terms or even outside them. And it's just, uh, it sucks because I grew up my whole 26 plus years with a lot of really good things and a lot of really bad things. But the way those have shifted into deck of cards was things I never had to understand, but I really should have, right? You know? Uh, and the things I already understand, but I didn't have access to, right? So it's like a really weird alternative path we have in this life. But just with communication, creativity, one of the best ways you can be creative is to communicate yourself properly. But also, one of the best ways to communicate is to be creative. So it just it comes down to my life being something that I did not take with an object of fashion, but I didn't have to do be ungrateful or. De- despondent about the fact that it happened a certain way or it didn't happen in other ways and that's just how I come about it usually I didn't uh, I didn't really think that I would go down this way at all even the things I idealized were actually just actual selves or different things or vice versa things that I thought were who I surely should have actually been were still ideals in themselves because the actual reality I had was felt like it's all ideal my life reads itself like a storybook my life is very much feels like a fantasy it's a very wondrous thing that have existed this way without knowing for sure what was around the corner even though i knew a lot of things in the first place the wisdom that i possess does not have to be enough or omniscient per se but it was enough for me at least for now thank you